Shalom, everybody, and welcome to Evangelical End Time Space. My name is Cody, and I'd love to share this message that was given to Prophet Benjamin Carl Sanson. Uh, it's, a, it's a message of encouragement for the year of 2014. This is an important year, and I hope God's blessings on all of brothers and sisters, and that we let Jesus come into our lives and let him change our path, because it takes him and him alone to change our path so that we can walk straight to the Father. He brings us. Repent and come with Jesus. He wants us to go. The title of today's message is, Let Your Good Intentions Succeed in the New Year. Many have good intentions for the New Year. Unfortunately, these burst fast. Good tips are shared with you. This message is coming from the Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, Isa, Jesus Christ. Please share and do not change. Hello, very welcome. Best wishes to you all. And I wish you God's blessings for the new year. On January 2nd, 2014, a messenger angel of God brought on this message of God to end-time prophet Benjamin Kalsanson. Shalom, I greet you in the wonderful name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Isa, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Verily, Prophet Benjamin Kalsanson, my name is Shurumblah. I'm a messenger, angel of God. Verily, people have so many intentions. The unbeliever says, I have good intentions for the New Year's. I will stop smoking, or drinking, or greed, and I will stop my immoral ways. Every year, the intentions are rising up, including also to wish to stop with witchcraft. Verily, even in the Greek Bible, one often comes across the word pharmakia, and, and translated this means witchcraft. And this includes also drugs. Also, this is a cult. It opens up your spirit to the kingdom of darkness. Verily, many intentions just burst again, and no one takes hold of the old again. Read aloud Galatians 5, verse 19 to 26. There it is written. Now the works of the flesh are obvious, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lustfulness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, strife, jealousies, outbursts of angers, rivalries, divisions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these, of which I forewarn you, even as I also have forewarned you that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of those of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ have crucified the flesh with passions and lusts. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. Let's not become conceited, provoking one another and envying one another. The messenger angel of God spoke further. Without Yeshua HaMashiach, Isa, Jesus Christ, to ask for forgiveness and enter in relationship with Him and go to church in order to be built up, however, you'll just fall again in the deep hole that would rather have you perished. How many intentions are there? Yes, good intentions. But be like Paul, who stretched forward to forgetting what was behind and stretched forward to what was before, the new things of God. And David said, I will lift up my eyes from the hills. Where does my help come from? And Abraham trusted in God. What an intention. And how about Enoch? His intention was to live in a daily fellowship with his heavenly father. Just as prophet Benjamin Kalsanson. Also, his intention is to obey Yeshua HaMashiach, Esau, Jesus Christ. Whatever others might think and say, Benjamin listens to the Most High. And how about Jehoshaphat, who had the intention to focus his heart on it, to seek God? And Moses said, rather to suffer oppression than enjoy the pleasures of sin for a time. And the intentions of Caleb and Joshua were, refuse to get discouraged by the great force of the enemy. And Joseph's intention was, turning away from all kinds of temptations which came down on him. And Gideon said what prophet prophet benjamin words also could have been namely i will continue even though i have very few friends left on my side 
and the intentions of Aaron and her were to hold the spiritual leaders upright through intercision and support. And the intention of Andrew was to lead another to Christ. And the intention of Stephen likewise. Benjamin's intention to show a spirit of forgiveness to all those who want to harm me. Verily, don't ever do anything in your own strength, but believe and trust in Yeshua HaMashiach, Isa, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Read aloud Philippians 4, verse 4 to 7. Here it is written. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. In nothing be anxious, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The messenger angel of God spoke. Verily, think about this message. I'm going now. Waka. Yeshu, Shalom. And also I say to you, Shalom. God's rich blessings. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for listening to this message. It is awesome that Jesus brings us these messages in the end times. I thank him for that. I thank him for Prophet Benjamin. And I thank him for the workers. And I thank him for all the listeners. Thank you, guys.